Good morning from Helena. Tina and Crunch got a Trail Angel ride booked at 7.45, so they took off already. Tina just went with the uh, Trail Angel. That way they just get to the trail at the same time, so I don't have to do this shuffling thing. And it's quite a bit of a drive one way, so I didn't, I don't know, doing it three ways is kind of long. But they took off and I stuck around here. I'm using the room basically. I brought up my laptop and all my hard drives. And I like to keep two copies of everything that I record and edit together. So I always have two external hard drives and I gotta try to sync up. And I haven't backed those up in a while. I have a copy on a laptop, but then in the two hard drives I try to keep separate. But finally got that done because I got enough power to just kind of leave things on. And now I'm basically taking everything from the room down to the car. I take several trips. Um, I take a bunch of trips up here. I bring all Tina's stuff up here. I bring my stuff up here. Resupply stuff, her bag. I mean, there's a lot of different foods here. So um, I also bring snacks from the refrigerator. So now I'm just basically just going up and down and use my little grocery bag to shuttle things down there. And I'll be leaving probably after two more trips. I think I'm going to need two more uh, just because I have my laptop as well. And that's quite heavy and I do not want to drop it. Here there is a resupply bag for Tina for Benchmark, which is coming up in maybe 100 something miles. So I gotta bring that down. She packs bread, and this is a uh, bread I had in the bag. She took some of those. This is a case for a little bucket I have. This is olive oil that she refilled her bottle. It's a little bit of wine. She was gonna drink it, but then she changed her mind. And this is a little bottle of champagne. I'll keep it in the car so when you hit the finish line, I'll meet them there and have that ready, chilled and ready to go. Laptop, two hard drives, things charging. I forgot to plug my phone in. I'm back on the road. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Hello there, this is Jay. Um, I'm packed up and I headed out about six miles outside of Helena. There is, um, I forget the name of the pass already, but I'm driving up the road right now and I mapped it out on Gaia. It's going to be about 56 or 57 miles or something like that. I'll show you the picture here. But it's a lot of elevation change. And I'm going to crisscross the CDT four times. I'm going to cross it three times and just kind of overlap it once. So I'm just driving up nice and slowly right now. Um, Tina forgot her sunglasses in the room. So I have those. And I'm going to try to meet up with her at the second intersection. She's already passed the first, uh, first crossing. So... I keep going. Hopefully she doesn't pass the second by the time I get there. But really, I got a couple nights to just explore. Um, so far, it's been a large mix of private land. Gaia shows that it's going to be all public land pretty soon. But uh, right now, it's just lots of private cabins and stuff on the sides here and there. But yeah, let's go. Let's, uh, let's mosey on up and hopefully we get a good camp spot. I was thinking about fixing my hair if I get a good spot. I did not do a good job cutting my hair. Way far away, there is a CDT sign over there. So this road right here is the CDT, but uh, that's crossing one. I think it may just go straight up that hill. That's quite a little climb. Just going up the hill, up and over. Yeah, it looks like it's just going up. Hmm. But uh, we'll just keep driving and try to get to the next intersection. By the way, we are at Priest Pass. I know it's Priest Pass Road all the way till now. And I guess it's still the same name going down. Um, <laughs> let's see what the road's gonna be like. It's been a really hazy morning. <laughs> you can kind of smell the smoke. Really smoky views. You can barely see that mountain back there. Okay. The CDT is right in front of me. I checked and I think there's a water source 0.7 miles back. And it looks like they stopped there for a while. They've been there for a little while, so they're probably having lunch. And uh, I'm expecting them to come here any minute. It's 0.7 miles away. It's a long walk and flip-flops. But yeah, CDT's right here. So I think I caught up with them and I got Tina's glasses, sunglasses. <laughs> I guess she's using crunches. I don't know if he doesn't use his, but yeah, check it out. There's a trail. I guess they should be coming up this way. Hopefully they don't cut across because there's like a shortcut way. Because for some reason it comes here and it hooks and it goes actually back. You'll be able to see each other here for some reason. But uh, I don't know, maybe they'll come. 
There's a stop. Tina and Crunch showed up. They both took a Gatorade and I handed off Tina's sunglasses. They're actually walking up this road because this road hits the CDT again. And there they are up there. We're gonna whiz past them. Uh-oh. They're coming back towards me. What's up? What's up? And they're off. I'm gonna go up this other dirt road here. Just up here because it looked like there are good campsites here, you know, except for all the cows. Um, this road doesn't go far. But from the satellite pictures, it looked like, oh, there's even a little campground post over there on my left. So I think it's a good spot. You just have to be careful not to run over any cow poop or, or cows. I have some neighbors here, several. They better not lick my car tonight. But this spot looks like a good campsite. I mean, there's a fire ring, big open meadow. It's kind of pretty and plenty of shade and it's very much alive. There's a little bit of bed branches, but nothing major. It's actually pretty good. So I'm just gonna camp out here, I think, and uh, work on a couple more videos. I think this guy was just rubbing against my car. Hey, were you rubbing my car? What were you doing? Uh-huh. Good morning. I seem to be surrounded by cows again. This morning I felt my car shake and there's clear evidence they were rubbing up against the corner there. Trying to scratch themselves. Let's go around the other side and see how many other are here. Yeah, there were more. They're moving on though. A lot of little guys, you're staring. <laughs> I don't think they're afraid of me so much as they're just curious what I'm up to. Hello! Yeah. Guy getting closer? Moo! Moo! I'm looking for the little cow with dust on the side about car bumper high because it was one of these little guys. I'm at the intersection of Empire Creek Road and Lost Horse Creek Road. This is Lost Horse Creek. This is the route I mapped, but uh, I drove down a little bit and the plants are incredibly overgrown. I would have to cut a lot to not to be brushing up. I mean, it's for a motorcycle really. And this road looks better, and it's a lot longer going up Empire Creek Road because you have to go all the way up and come around and intersect again. But I'm going to take this way just because that way is is not going to be good. I don't want my solar panel cables to get yanked too much and get too many scratches. Well, you can see down there, but you can see the trees are totally overgrown. And this is a solid road in Gaia. Usually when it's solid, it's uh, reasonable. But that, that's... Probably not for normal cars there. Alright, this is the CDT again. This is the third time we're crisscrossing. And we're gonna actually intersect it again, but not cross it a fourth time coming up. And then we branch away. The CDT goes northeast and I'll go northwest towards Lincoln. But uh, let's move on up here. I'm in Lincoln now. I actually planned on camping before coming here, um, somewhere after Stemple Pass. I met Tina and Crunch at Stemple Pass and uh, I thought there might be campsites nearby. Satellite pictures didn't look promising and as I drove, it's not good. So I just came here to get gas and I'm gonna head back east towards the CDT again because there's more national forests up there. And I'm gonna go try to find camping. I'm actually gonna go find some shaded spot and look at some satellite pictures to improve my chances. Wish me luck. But as I came here, as I was driving to the gas station in Lincoln, I saw Crunch walking along with the grocery bags. So I honked and I pulled over and we talked for a little bit. And uh, it was nice because I thought he was two days ahead. Um, 
Tino told me that he might be two days ahead, but he just came into town today and he's gonna leave tomorrow. So that was pretty nice. I haven't seen him in a long time. I thought we weren't gonna see him again because he was that far ahead. Then I saw a K-Man, which is another person uh, we knew from before. So I'm off again. Uh, wish me luck. Lincoln is much lower and it's so hot here right now. It just It's just gonna be miserable if I try to find camp spots this low. I need to get back above 6,000 feet. I had the solar panel here plugged in. There were some strong gusts, but right now it's actually really good. But uh, I looked and I couldn't see the solar panel anywhere, so I didn't know where it went because the wind direction keeps changing. And I walked out here expecting it to be way down, but I found it right there lodged in the tree. If it wasn't for that tree, it could have slid further down. It's pretty steep. I'd have to. Uh, put some shoes on and get a rope or something and make sure I don't slide down. <sighs> Man. It's a beautiful sunrise. Smoke makes the sun look a little pretty. Oh, it's starting to rain. I was gonna say, I see rain clouds coming in from the north, but uh, it's already starting to rain. All right, I gotta get going. Yeah, I saw rain clouds coming in from the north and uh, I thought I should get out of here, get off of this mountain before the rain starts, but it's a little too late. But I'm gonna go now before the road gets waterlogged and just head towards the parking lot where it's safer, easier. Uh, but about one and a half miles down this crazy road. I'm not gonna film anything. I was gonna fly a drone for part of it and put up a GoPro on the roof, but it's raining. Fortunately, I got everything done out of the way. I just gotta drive. Poor Tina and Crunch. It looked dark for quite a while. It's gonna rain for a while. That's, that's too bad. Here's the road. And here's the road that goes up to where I was, it just goes up and up and up. But pretty wild. It's cold now. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, but I think it's starting today. I'm at the trailhead and Tina and Crunch should be down in the next five minutes, I think, according to the in-reach tracking. But it's a pretty nice trailhead. Check out this parking lot. The road is right down there and it just is a huge open lot. So I guess people can park any way they want, but it's nice because then, then bigger vehicles can get in here too. And uh, there's the pit toilet. And up there, pretty much east is where they'll be coming from. You can see the CDT sign there and it's there's another one way back there somewhere. So I'll see them once they get past the tree trees there. The trail goes down to the road here somehow or another. It's just a mess. Somehow it must get down there goes down the road and then there's a set of stairs you go up and then it's 
somewhere out there. <laughs> but then they'll be off, so yeah. Not the nicest of days, and tomorrow, actually starting this evening through tomorrow, it's supposed to rain on and off a lot over the night, but uh, it's almost tempting to just go into Lincoln from here just to skip out on tomorrow. But then they'd have to take another zero and if there are rooms available. But it's another zero and we just took one in Helena. So we probably won't do that. But look at those low clouds going over. Every once in a while it just kind of drizzles on you. Just the moisture. But right now it's not raining much. So you may see them as they come. The most interesting thing about right now though is this morning when I woke up it was about 69 degrees. And now it's like 47 under 50 degrees it's quite cool so it's colder now than it was at five o'clock this morning by about over 10 degrees fahrenheit that's that's pretty wild that's that's pretty crazy anybody there yet no not yet there they come in their rain gear it's drizzling a little more than it was earlier but 